Okay, folks, the time has come to do some major, major upgrades on Edward's tank here. But to do that, there he is. We have to take this little dude out, put him back in his little travel bin again. He's gonna stay in here overnight because we're gonna be using silicone that needs to uh, cure. So first things first, we gotta get him out, put him in there, and then we'll move on. Okay, so Edward's in his temporary home. I put some more of the stuff in there, the sphagnum moss that's a little bit damp so he can go in there if he needs to. I put a lot more aspen fiber to make him feel a little more comfortable. As you can see, it's like two thirds of the way up and then even more on this side. So he'll be comfortable in there for overnight. But now we have to take everything out of that tank and then we're gonna take the tank out there to do the work on it because it's gonna take a while. Okay, so we got this thing cleaned out, wiped down this side, which is the back with the water. Just make sure there's none of that aspen left to uh, make the silicone not stick as well. And then we put all the other stuff in here. So this is all his decorations and stuff for the tank. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is a background from Universal Rocks. They're actually from here in Dallas, Texas. So it took a really short time for them to ship this to me. But as you can see, it's like a rubberized background, really flexible, but looks exactly like rock and feels like rock too. So this would be super cool. Another place for Edward to kind of just hang out, move around, rub himself on when he's uh, shedding, stuff like that. I'm insanely excited. This should be a massive upgrade to the tank, but I also got some other stuff. So let me show you that. So in addition to the background, we got Edward some more stuff right here. We got some uh, some leaves that can actually suction cup to the side of his tank. I have some really cool ideas of what to do with this. So I'll show you that too. Um, some more leaves. This is like kind of like ivy-ish stuff. And then we got a really cool piece of cork bark with one open end over there. And then this side splits into two, which I thought was super cool. I have a good idea for this too, so stay tuned. And then we got him a brand new hive. This one actually goes along really well with his um, humidity box. So this will be his new, probably warm side hive. We'll see. We'll have the other hide in here still, but um, I think he'd like this more with the smaller entrance. And then I'll put some aspen or whatever inside of it just so it's comfortable for him. Before we actually start siliconing anything, I wanted to get this background and go ahead and do a test fit just to make sure it fits and so you guys can see what it's going to look like. Wow, look how well that fits. That is cool. I hope that looks as cool on camera as it does to me. Oh my God. This is probably the most excited I've been for a video in a long time. So if you're excited too, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you end up liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but let's go ahead and start. We're gonna go ahead and silicone this thing in. We use 100% silicone, because if you use stuff that has like anti-mold stuff and stuff like that in it, it can actually hurt your uh, reptile, especially fish tanks. You cannot have any anti-mold stuff. It'll even say 100% silicone, but say like seven years mold free or something, that's not good for your fish. Reptiles, it's kind of a different story because they're not swimming around in it. And, like ingesting that, but this will be left to sit for at least 24 hours, just so we're sure it's cured, everything's fine, and that Edward will be able to live in here just perfectly. Okay guys, we got the bad boy siliconed in. As you can see, fit right up to the top right there. Bottom, all the edges. Y'all saw I did that in the time lapse. But we're gonna fast forward this about 24 hours uh, to tomorrow, and then we'll go ahead and finish off this tank. Okay, so it's a couple hours later. The silicone is not cured yet, but that doesn't matter because we're not putting Edward in yet, but we can put everything else in here. So we're gonna go ahead and escape this tank. I'm not gonna put the uh, aspen fiber in yet. I'm gonna do that after I figure out how I want everything. I'm gonna take pictures of it so I know how to put it back with aspen fiber and they'll put everything back in the way I had it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna do kind of trial and error, look at it, see if I like the angles, all that. And then um, we'll get the final product here in just a second. That might be the setup right there, folks. So let's go ahead and take everything out again. I'm gonna take a picture of it just so we know what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and put the aspen in and then do it. Less of these things, but you need, I need all three of them. So it's like, you need all three of them? Yeah, cause it needs a cold hide, a humidity box and a warm hide. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Wait, I mean, have that in the other one? Yeah, he oh. had, this was, this was one of his hides though. Um, the small thing that I just took out right here. Three days later. Okay, so I think we have the final product. I don't want to show you too much of this because we're going to wait till tomorrow when we put Edward in here. But I'm really happy with it. I messed around with it a ton. Obviously, it's a lot different than the one I initially said. It was going to be the final one, but that's okay. Me and Abzar messed around for like 30 minutes. I'm trying to figure out a good uh, a good balance for this thing. That is the setup for now, and I'll show you tomorrow us putting Edward in there.
Good morning, everybody. It is finally the next day. So we gotta get Edward right here, who has been graciously staying in his little enclosure. I feel so bad for him, but he's been okay. His little heat mat is just very slightly touching the side of the enclosure, so it'll stay warm enough. But we gotta go get that tank, put it back on this little shelf that he sits on, and then we're gonna put him in there for the finale of this video. Good morning again. So I was gonna put Edward in his tank yesterday, the tank still smelled like silicone, meaning silicone wasn't completely cured. So I wanted to wait at least one more day just to give it enough time so it's cured, no fumes, nothing in there. So this man right here won't get hurt because that would be horrible. Thankfully, it does not smell like silicone. Ooh, he is anxious to get in here, so we'll let him go right there. We'll get you some B-roll. And that is about all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, there's a comment section meant just for that. If you want to follow me on any social media, I usually don't shout out my social media, but if you do, sometimes you'll see stuff early. You'll see sneak peeks and stuff. You see me post pictures of other snakes that you don't see on the channel. So make sure you go check that out. I appreciate you guys watching so much. Consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. The little red rectangle down below. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload so you don't miss another upload just like this one. Or just like that, I gotta go. I'll see y'all later. Take care of yourselves. Peace.